we are going to be fighting this fire wizrobe. So if you have the opposing element like ice fruit or ice breath lazolfos horn, if you use a white choo choo jelly or a gliok frost horn, or even a, oh, I just saw it. Yeah, this one, ice breath lazolfos tail. There are a few things, even just a sapphire, I think. Um, one hit with that will kill it. Um, there are a few things you need to keep in mind, especially with the fire. The, the moves that they have, they have a single, it seems like it, if they have a sword with the gem, it's not nearly as uh, powerful as when they have the magic rod. The magic rod will do three fireballs instead of the one. But what's really cool about the fire one is the fire one will actually create like a little updraft of heat. You can use this to create bullet time and just shoot away, attach your ice item and just shoot away one hit kill. I kind of want to see him create the fire effect, the, the rain fire from volcano dance. I don't know if he can do it because he doesn't have the, the actual magic rod, but we'll see. Get away from me, bees. Oh, are they angry? Oh, they look angry. Okay, two hits on the bees. Scimitar the Seven, that's a great use for that weapon. Maybe this one, because he's just like level one, he's not going to do the full fire dance. Okay, I'll show with just a white choo-choo jelly, super low level bow. One. Oh, he's doing the dance. Oh, perfect timing. I'm glad I missed. Okay, so what does the dance do? Yeah, that's not good. The fire rains down. So you definitely want to prevent that move from happening. Let's see, where are you? There you are. Oh, so much roll at time. Tricky. Okay, now I'm really struggling to end this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, white choo choo jelly. Slowing down time, one hit, now you can get it. So he didn't have the full magic rod, but he did have the ruby sword, which is cool. Don't have any room for it, but that's how you defeat the fire wizrobes.